Y'all, I need some prayers for my neighbors. I'm about to tell you what happened last night. Last night I'm walking across my stairs to go to bed. I need privacy for this. And I hear a bang, 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 bang on the door. I'm like, who is that? And my daughter's like, who is that? And like, she's scared. And I'm like, stay here. Don't move. And I go open the door. And it's the neighbor, this little girl next door. And she's like, there's a fire. I don't know what to do. I was like, at your house? And she was like, yes. And I was like, and her kitchen was on fire. <sighs> okay. And she had already called 911. Their parents, they had just, listen, this fire was nobody's fault. Their parents had just left. To go see a friend and they had did a u-turn and they're coming back hit 90 on the highway coming back and they have their parents on the phone right now because they had already called 911 and i i called 911 too so they hurry up and get here because you can't see the fire but it's bad you can tell by how these kids are acting it's bad and the little girl's kind of worried because and she's 14 and she's worried because her cat, she couldn't find her cat before she left. Her brother found his cat. He was standing there with his cat. But she couldn't find hers, and she was so worried. And then you hear this loud, meow, meow. It's like muffled. And the cat's at the door trying to get out because the smoke was a thick black smoke. And she runs over there, opens the front door, gets the cat, and comes back. And the cat is covered in black because of the smoke. That's how bad this fire is by, by this time. Oh, I can't even... I'm so glad they're okay. Oh, my gosh. But... By the time the fire trucks got there, there were six fire trucks, okay? What happened with this fire? There was an outlet in the kitchen, and they had a bug zapper plugged in on one end of, the, of, of their counter. It kind of goes around like this. They had a bug zapper plugged in on one end, and a little mini wax warmer on the other. And the wiring, it's not because of what they had plugged in. The wiring that house in that house is, is completely fucked up. The landlord had just been out there and said something about it. And he was going to put some kind of emergency in, emergency thing in there. I'm not sure what it is. But these things plugged in <sighs> caused a fire. The, the entire, that's what the, the firefighter said, the outlet was completely melted. Okay, I have black on my face because I went in there a little bit ago into their house and I was talking with them for a couple hours, okay? I had no idea how bad it really was. There were six fire trucks, like 20 to 30 firefighters. They're running in the house. There's black smoke coming out. They're saying, hey, I need another line. They're yelling all these orders to each other. I don't know what's going on. And when the firefighters got here, they looked like warriors hopping off that truck. And this guy had a big metal pole and he went, ding, and stuck it in the ground he's marching over to the house i'm like what the fuck this is like a movie <sighs> i went in their house just a second ago i was talking with them and i'm telling them they need anything tell me everything in that house is covered in black the walls the carpet the furniture even inside the fucking toilets are black and the toilet seats were down there's a giant hole in the kitchen ceiling, and there's this big-ass tube coming out. It's hanging on the kitchen floor. There's water all over the place. My, my, my shirt smells just like it did last night in the air. It smells like burning plastic and appliances and wood mixed together. And the heat was so hot, that fucking fire was traveling within the heat up the stairs. So they had to also bust a hole in the ceiling upstairs. Not only is everything covered in thick black smoke, you can see how thick it is because this morning, the, the morning dew was flowing through their house because the firefighters had to bust out all the windows at the back of the house and let the heat out. And you know what's even more messed up? Some sick bastard broke into their fucking house early this morning. So not only does this family have to go through a house fire and they're homeless right now, but some piece of shit broke into their house. Now, I could be wrong. It could be kids just farting around. Regardless, everybody in this neighborhood knew what happened last night. Everybody came out of their houses. Everybody was worried and concerned. It is by the grace of God that those kids are okay. That was the scariest I never in my life would have ever thought I would experience something like that. And I'm so, so sad for those, for those neighbors. 
and I'm making this video because I'm, I'm explaining how bad it is because I need you guys to pray for them. And I have no right to just post their names out there. But if it helps, the husband, his name starts with C and the wife, her name starts with S. Please pray for them. And I'm not going to even go near giving the letters of the children's names because you don't play with that kind of privacy and you don't put kids out there. So... My God, that was just, those kids were so scared. They they were, they, I opened the door and they said, there's a fire. I don't know what to do. And I was like, at your house? And I, I come out and she's telling me there's a fire in the kitchen. I'm like, I'm like, I'm over here thinking, should I go get some water? Should I go in there and try to put it out? She was like, no, I don't think anybody needs to go in there. Like I could tell by her body language, this fucking fire was bad. And I, that just goes to show like, <laughs> People, if you got wiring in your house that's faulty, get that shit checked because your entire house could be up in smoke in 10 minutes and this is not a game. Like I had no idea how quick a fire will spread, especially an electrical fire. That fire was nobody's fault. It started because of an outlet and that you know that's the truth because the landlord had even come out there. They told The neighbors told me. I was just over there talking with them for a couple hours in their house. Like, they're, everything is covered in thick, black smoke. And you can see where the firefighters were coming up the stairs because their big-ass uniforms were rubbing against the wall because they got to carry some heavy weight, those firefighters do. And they did a badass job, I have to say. Wow. So much respect to them. They, they hit that shit on the nose. They showed up here with all things necessary with six fire trucks because they say they said that's how many trucks they show up with to every call that's how it should be because you never know how bad it could be you never know but I gotta get off here please pray for this family they're homeless right now their whole house is covered in black all the windows are busted out or open the screens are ripped out some asshole broke into their house this morning this family needs prayers in Jesus Christ's name, I pray that this family not only comes to know God in a true way, if you feel me, and comes to believe in Jesus, but they that but that they make it through this, and that they heal, and that this healing process and recovery process, physically and mentally, has God speed at God speed in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Please pray for them in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Maranatha.